What's up, y'all? So I'm just sitting here looking at Minneapolis, man. This whole fucking place is just fucking raggedy, man. Like, wow, it really wasn't like this. This was a nice city. The whole, everything's just tore up. Lake Street, 35W, everything's just looking like shit. You're like, some of this shit, they're actually, they were already in the process of redoing. But now the combination of everything just makes everything look fucked up with the construction that was already happening and all the looting and burning and shit like this place just looks like shit and I guess rightfully so man like honestly Minneapolis has had a prop been and I don't know how everybody else's city is but Minneapolis has had a problem with the police fucking people up and just just bullshit in general man with the police and now I guess it's really starting to come to light but this ain't really nothing new um one of my homies pointed it out from California he was like man you guys when Philando Castile got killed live on Facebook that was the first police homicide that was ever live on Facebook so I guess that put Minneapolis Minnesota, St. Paul, in, in, uh, in that, that they put that in people's heads that we already had a problem with police type bullshit, which I started to almost forget about, like, damn, no, nah, we do have a problem, we been had a problem with, I remember when a cop shot, sprayed another cop with a Mac-10, believe it or not. It was an Asian cop who called for backup. And he was like, and the cop, and he ended up committing suicide, you guys. You can look this shit up. It's an Asian cop. I, I guess I'll probably end up putting his name in the byline. I'll try and find it. There's an Asian cop who back in like the 90s got into some funk, got into some type of shootout, doing some undercover work, called for backup. A white cop came and drew down on him with his with the submachine gun i don't know if you guys ever really realize this but some cops i've seen um ap9s in fucking mac 10s even for four in police i was surprised to see a mac 10 in a police car you guys honestly that surprised the shit out of me but i've been in the back of a lot of squad cars and I've seen a lot of different type of weapons. They're usually AR-15s or shotguns, but I've seen some shit that kind of surprised me. So normally this would sound like some fictitious shit, but the cop actually opened up on him with the submachine gun. I'm pretty sure it was a Mac-10 or it might've been an 11 and sprayed the, the cop, his own undercover officer up. And the cop ended up suing the Minneapolis Police Department and got like some millions of dollars but then from PTSD later on ended up committing suicide you guys and this is a true story so don't get it fucked up Minneapolis cops shoot other Minneapolis cops recklessly probably just rolled up saw an Asian and just lit him up didn't even realize it was an Asian cop that call he probably didn't call in like I'm an Asian undercover cop you know what I'm saying? In the, he probably didn't give him the, the dude just on some racist shit. And see, this is what you guys gotta understand about Minneapolis, you guys. Once you get about a half hour out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, in any direction, you're really gonna start not really seeing a lot of minorities. You're gonna start seeing a lot of redneck ass white people. Okay, so that's why you you see like these. That's why you get the, these situations where it's like, damn, they, they're just so racially charged. And, you know, and if it's not that, then it's just some personal shit. But it's like, there's just, I feel like there's such, there's just such big gaps. Even like the Minneapolis police, they said 90, 94% of them were, 94% of the Minneapolis police didn't live in Minneapolis. You know what I'm saying? No, they're coming from them, these hick ass areas. You know what I'm saying? And and they come from like Oakdale and these other little suburbs 
about 20 minutes, half hour out of these major cities, you guys, and their mentalities are a lot different. Okay? That's why you're seeing a lot of this shit, man, because these people are not even from the community at all in the community that they're policing. So they don't give a fuck about smoking nobody. They're not going to see their mom at the grocery store. They're not going to see their kids walking down the street. They're never going to probably come across them. You see what I'm saying? They're not, they don't feel like they're a part of, of these places. That's why it's so easy for them to do this bullshit. You know, and it's not just the police. Don't get it fucked up. It's a lot of people on bullshit these days. But when you're a cop, you you signing up not to be on no type of bullshit. You, man, you should be almost held to like a triple higher standard than your everyday citizen like myself who will look you in the face and tell you I don't give a fuck and I'm not going to follow that rule. I'll let you know off the, you know, out the, out the gate like that there is some corruption to me. Okay? I'm not just some fucking nice guy. I will fuck some shit up and don't give a fuck the consequences if push comes to shove. And that'll always be me. I'll always struggle with that. Do I like that? Fuck no, I don't like that. No, I don't like being like this, but I can't lie about who and who I am. Fuck no, I don't like being like this, man. But I know that I'm like this. I know that I'm like this. I'm not delusional. You know? But, yeah, Minneapolis been on bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have nothing around this motherfucker, really, without somebody trying to fuck your shit up. The police trying to take your shit. Pull you over. Searchers tear your shit up. Some motherfuckers in the street trying to jack you or some shit. Set you the fuck up. Like, this shit's been some bullshit. I really have thought about it, man. It's hard to get to where I'm at, you guys. Don't even think it's easy. Don't let me fucking fool you, man. Don't let me fool you, man. This shit costs a lot of shit, man. A lot of days in jail. A lot of pain. A lot of wounds. Bullets. Fucking knife wounds. All type of shit. You know, it just costs, man. This shit costs, man. It costs people's lives. It costs everything, man. It costs everything, man. People pay with everything Trying to achieve this much Just that much You know what I'm saying Like, And I know some days I'm just I, I feel like I just I know that I'm ungrateful sometimes I know it I know it I struggle with that But I know sometimes I just don't give a fuck Like I'm just ungrateful for shit sometimes I, I You know Sometimes I just take all this shit for granted And I'm like I don't give a fuck about this shit and there's people doing 10 times better than me. You know what I'm saying? In this world. You know what I'm saying? But. Man. It's never going to be easy. Every day is going to be a fucking struggle. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about my homies. He got blasted up real bad. He got shot 12 times in the back. And ended up with 19 holes in him. And. I was talking to him. He was in the joint. And I was talking to him. And shit. After I had got out. We weren't in the same place. I must have been complaining about something like a bitch. And uh, I said something, man. And uh, probably some ungrateful to be alive type shit. And he was like, yeah, bro. It's crazy. You got to remember, man. And this is somebody who got blasted 12 times in the back by somebody sitting in their back seat. Was in a coma for a while and shit. Just a straight up miracle. He ain't paralyzed or nothing. He's like, crazy. You got to remember, man. Dying is easy, bro. Living is hard. Not a lot of people will I listen to that from. Like, shut the fuck up. Most people, I'm just going to shut the fuck up. You can't. You're not qualified to talk to me about that. But he was and always will be. I said, damn, man. If he, you sure ain't lying. Like, damn. And that's just, he, he, that's right. You know, he's right. I guess death is like, probably be some easy ass shit. You know? As far as the actual... The actual, you know, the actual passing, which you got to go through to get to there might be some fucked up shit, but yeah, man, death, I guess, would be real fucking easy, man, versus life.
and to know that you gotta overcome all this shit and you gotta always be something every day. You just, there can't be a day where I'm just like not shit cause it'll look twice as bad. It'll look 10 times as bad, man. Than your average motherfucker who just fell off and ain't shit. Like I can't let that happen to myself, man. A lot of pressure and a lot of stress. I'm under just trying to maintain my everyday lifestyle, you know? Sometimes I want to let go like the rest of these people, man. Half the city lives in tents in the park right now. I, I should show you guys, but I'm trying to drive at the same time. But I mean, this shit is fucking as ugly as I've ever seen it in my lifetime. I'm fucking 42. I was born in the 70s, you guys. I've been around for a long fucking time. And I've never seen nothing like this, man. 